Guys, what is... This is something I started thinking about. Let me know what you guys think. What is Conor McGregor's worth? Is that the word? What is his worth right now? What is he worth as a fighter? Um, Because... I don't know about you guys, but you know all this talk about him fighting Floyd Mayweather and all this. But and I'm thinking, I'm just give. I like to give my honest opinion. This is my honest thoughts on that. I'm thinking, there's no way. I mean, there's no way I would pay to see this fight. Are you? Are you guys gonna buy this fight and watch this? Uh, you know, they're talking about oh, it's this big of a fight and this. I mean, yeah, it's Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, May, Mayweather uh, versus Pacquiao is way more exciting and interesting than this was. Um, I mean, it's like everybody expects Floyd Mayweather to win in a boxing match. In other words, what I'm saying is, I mean, I understand people are going to pay. I understand people are going to watch. Even me, is I'm curious to see what will happen. Obviously, when the fight is going on, I'll be like, oh, let me see if I can watch the fight or you know, find out what happens right after the fight is over. But what if, I mean, are people really going to pay to see this fight? You know what I mean? It's like, I guess if everybody that's a Floyd Mayweather fan, that's a boxing fan, but now you have Floyd Mayweather fighting a guy that isn't even a boxer. It's like, are you really, I mean, and what I'm saying is, what if people just don't show up and pay for the fight? They pay, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I understand they're still going to make money off of the fight, but, you know, you, you would think this would be a big flop. I mean, Conor McGregor, the guy just got knocked out. He just lost. He just lost to Nate Diaz. Um, now, granted, a lot of casual fans, fight fans, boxing fans, they're not going to even know Conor McGregor lost. Maybe they heard about it, but you know, maybe maybe they're st they're probably still picturing you know Conor McGregor knocking out Jose Aldo because everybody watched that fight. My neighbors across the alley came up to me like, "How'd you like that McGregor fight?" You know, they probably didn't even know who Jose Aldo was before that fight. You know, just people, casual, normal people. So, but I'm just curious though. It's like. You know, I, I just don't know what Conor McGregor's worth is right now. I mean, is this guy worth $100 million? You know, because that's where we're at now. I heard they offered him $50 million. He says he wants $100 million. Now, I used to work in sales. It's an aim high, shoot low. What you say, that doesn't mean anything until you've agreed to a certain price. But... I mean, I just don't even know what Conor McGregor's... I mean, what do you guys think? What is Conor McGregor's value as an MMA fighter? Like, you know, every he was selling out arenas, and I understand all his Irish fans, but as somebody starts to lose fights, it's... I mean, it's just not as interesting. I, I, he probably has to lose a number of fights before people stop tuning in. Um, but he's on his way to doing that. He just lost a fight. He, he lost... Uh, pretty pretty bad, pretty bad. He didn't lose a close decision. I mean, he got knocked out. He he almost like was a double whammy for Conor McGregor. He he got he got knocked out basically. He was about to get knocked out, and he got submitted. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you know by 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 Nate Diaz, who is not even a hundred seventy pounder. Nate Diaz is a one fifty fiver, and Nate, Nate Diaz is not. Not top 10, 155-er. He's not. I mean, debatably. But they had him ranked 20-something before he fought Michael Johnson, as I said before. Then he beat Michael Johnson. So he, to me, if you're ranked 20-something, you beat a guy, you should move up a couple notches, something like that. So say they had him ranked 18th in the world where he should have been. They moved him up. Um before he fought McGregor, but that's for marketing reasons. Is he actually better than a lot of these other guys? I mean, uh, you know, at least at that point in his career, he was on a major skid. He was on a major skid. Um, except for the Michael Johnson fight. Now he's won two fights. But basically, you know, Conor McGregor lost to a guy, here's a list, you know, he lost to a 155er. 
and obviously couldn't hang. You know, so like I said, it's very clear he's not going to fight at 170. He just lost to a 155er. Yeah, they were fighting at 170, but still a 155-pound fighter. Um, you know, so it's like, man, it's like that was the appeal. Conor McGregor talking about, oh, I'm going to beat this division. I'm going to beat that division. And then now saying, oh, I can beat Floyd Mayweather. I mean, uh... I mean, are people really going to tune in? Like, the stuff he told us, he was, everything Connor was telling us was coming true. I'm going to knock all these guys out, knock Jose Aldo out. He destroyed Jose Aldo. But the other stuff about the other divisions that he was talking about, that's clearly not happening. So now he's gone, and in, in, in since, since he can't, he can't, he can't accomplish what he said he was going to accomplish with, with these two uh, other weight classes, it became very clear to him that he can't and to everybody else. So now he's going and saying and he's gonna be he's gonna beat Floyd Mayweather. It's like you you haven't even gone and beat another professional boxer in a fight. I mean it's almost like this is just like a scam at this point. Like um I mean it really is. I mean I think it's a scam. I feel like it's a scam, it's a hoax, it's a lot of just publicity. Which you guys know, I'm not a fan of. I'm a fan of fighting. I'd rather watch. I just like watching, you know, watching fights. And Conor McGregor is a very exciting fighter. I actually, he'd be like a gem of a fighter if he never, if I never heard him speak. And all we just seen him fight because he's just beautiful movement, real fun to watch. All this stuff, the other stuff, it gets our attention. It's entertaining, but I really liked him more as a fighter. And, you know, it's like, it's just, you know, I don't know what to say about it. But, guys, this is like, I'm not paying any money to watch this fight. That's all I'm saying. Is anybody else going to pay this money to watch a fight? I mean, I would have to think you'd be, like, out of your mind. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like a scam. It's not even a real fight. It's just, I mean, you're talking about you went to work, busted your butt. To make money and then you're going to go give it to this guy? Psh. I mean, I'll, I'll tune in to watch, but I ain't, giving this, I ain't putting no money into this. I'll promise you that. I'll see you guys later.